They park on the road there. Oop, jeez. To get to Wood Island. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice bluegill. That's a beauty. back out on the lake today and today I wanted to discuss uh, the automatic fisherman the snapper um, I bought this thinking it would be a lot of fun to catch fish on jig rods and in place of a tip-up so um, when I bought it it came packaged with just this and no instructions or anything how to use it so I used YouTube obviously like everybody to find um, ways to set this thing up. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward, but I wanted to do a video today on setting it up and hopefully we can catch some fish on it today. Anyways, this is the Automatic Fisherman, the Snapper, and we'll uh, we'll get this set up and hopefully uh, we catch some fish on it again today. Okay. So it comes out of the package like this and you turn this, the guy here, tighten her down. Uh, that's obviously a stabilizing bar there. And uh, you pull this guy out here Get this thing ready and uh, of course you can set this to various different sizes of rods and I went and bought a rod it's a little bit longer a little bit stiffer because I couldn't seem to get most of my littler rods to work on this little triggering device here um, so all right so that is pretty much how I set it up there. I mean, just to get to that point there. So let's go grab a rod. This is a 30, 30 inch rod here, 30 inch uh, jigging rod. And then I just, let's see, drop the minnow in there. And from there, I mean, you know, you're gonna set your preference on where you like to set your, your uh, depth on your tip ups and whatnot. I'm just this this is just purpose of showing how to set this guy up so so you set your rod in there on this thing here and then you bring this down and you set it you set it on this little device here that's the triggering device and then uh, how that works is obviously if a fish catches it it's gonna pull down on this well you gotta have your bill shut um, pull down on this and it automatically triggers and sets the hook and that's how you know as well that you have a fish on so right now let's get this set i usually set mine with the with the uh, locator the depth wise but i can see down there pretty well today so it looks like it's pretty pretty shallow so i'm gonna leave it right about there Again, this is your preference on where to set that, where you like to set it. Some people like it just below the ice. It's just your standard tip-up type setup then from there. So you get it here, let's do it now that I got it set where roughly where I want it to be set, whether I want that minnow. And I'm gonna put this here, like that. And you drape your line over the top of that because that's what's gonna pull down here. When a fish does get on, it's gonna pull down and trigger this whole mechanism here and set the set the hook for you so what I like to do as well I like to leave a little bit of slack here so that when a fish does hit it I have a little bit of extra line for them to take out a little bit so it doesn't just bam just set the hook right away so that's what I like to do they sell this little device here or a little bobber thing that you can put in here that holds that line down but I found that you can just kind of leave it just lay there like that and then have your bail shut and uh, that is it this one is set up ready to go so it's basically kind of like a tip up hopefully today we catch a few on this Oh, he went around a transducer. Imagine that. Okay, one of the things I 
want to do as well today's uh, ice fishing excursion is to look at these bluegills and um, get an idea of painting a good bluegill uh, a match the hatch so to speak and I see a nice blue purple color down here uh, if you can see that I don't know and uh, of course blue and running here and a little bit of purple here and there so I'd like to get a good view of these guys and match the hatch as they say so and uh, definitely need I suppose depending on the light more green and and whatnot too in my in my bait so that's another little thing I wanted to do today in today's fishing video as well hopefully we can catch like a maybe a couple little baby perch and whatnot too to kind of take a look at those as well That's a decent one. Not huge, but decent. Not huge. Again, just about hand sized. Just about. These guys are real close on the last couple of days of fishing, so. About hand sized, as you can see. There's a little perch. All right. Perfect. This is what we wanted to see. That was a little perch. Hopefully he can sit still for just enough time here. All right. So we have some nice colors. Definitely some stripes. And the orange fins obviously are very prominent. But let's see. Yeah, so we got some orange fins here, orange back here a little bit, and some some more prominent stripes than uh, than the bluegill. Kind of the same green stuff as well. So I'm gonna paint one of these guys as well soon. So this was what I was hoping for. This is today's focus on uh, today fishing was this was my focus was to uh, get a couple of live fish again to match the hatch as it were uh, come springtime and summer make some crankbaits and some, maybe some topwater baits that look a lot like these guys here all right excellent let's let this guy go huh? they park on the road there oop geez to get to wood island yeah Ooh, that's a nice bluegill that's a beauty yeah. that's why he knocked my See now, if you can catch four or five, six of these, this is a big, nice built bluegill. That's a good bluegill there. You got a flag? Oh, there you go. So I just got a guy come over and talk to me here. So while I was talking to him, I got this one here. Now this is a, a very nice size bluegill. So that is a good one. Love to catch a lot more of those because that is your full hand full hand size bluegill beauty knocked my rod over and everything let's let this guy go he's a beauty so the guy that came over and talked to me a little while ago caught this perch on while we were talking he had a flag up and this is a better picture of a perch to uh, paint with this is a nice size perch here and you can really see the orange uh, on the bottom there uh, at least you can on in real life here hopefully the camera can pick that up but that is a dandy perch here for this lake I think there's probably more of them like that in here there is a lot of perch in here but that is a dandy there to get a good picture of painting a bait and get it towards the sunshine more there we go and uh, there's a, that's a much better picture I'd love to think what, what was your name Jerry We'll thank Jerry for bringing this over on his tip-up that he got just a little while ago while we were talking. So, uh, excellent picture and a dandy 
uh, perch. All right, another thing I wanted to always try, I'm done catching a bunch of little bluegills today. Um, I'm gonna put out an, another extra tip up. I'm gonna put the jigging rod away. I'm gonna try something else. We, we got a lot of little themes going in this video today. I'm gonna set a tip up up with hot dogs, with a hot dog on it. Um, I've heard it works. I think the group next to me has been doing it today. So I've always wanted to try it. And I've always wanted to catch a, a northern or a pike, uh, whatever you want to call them, on a hot dog. So I'm gonna, Jerry's been kind enough to bring me a hot dog. So I'm going to give that a try too. So we got many little, little different themes going in this video. All right, I'm gonna get set up here in a second. All right, so let's just give this a try. There we go, a hot dog going down in the hole. Now I've seen people do this before. I've seen other people on YouTube doing it. I have just never done it. So I wanna give it a try today. We'll see how it works. All right, we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on this guy. It doesn't look good for today getting a fish on the automatic fisherman or the hot dog. So I pulled uh, the, the one tip up out, a minnow out, uh, and did a gonna jig for another five minutes or so, and I will call it a day. <laughs> 